What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank Anthony for sending me this clip over. It plays so well into the conversation we had last week talking about game modes. When you look at Madden, should you not be able to distinguish arcade, simulation, competitive? Should you not have maybe your arcade limited to Superstar KO? That way there's no question. Your simulation mode limited to play now, online, franchise, competitive, maybe just online. When you don't have that, when you're not able to do that, in my opinion, you get situations like this where you look at a play like this, and I don't care what game mode it is, no one is satisfied by the player movements here. You've got a receiver catches the ball at the five-yard line with pretty much a toe drag. Now, from there, it allows this to be transferred over to a tackle from in front, a tackle from behind, where maybe you could say momentum's respected. Okay, but then you've got players tripping over each other. You've got players cutting on a dime, leaping over each other, a tackle that's not even a tackle. No one wants that gameplay experience. There is no skill there. There's nothing that he specifically did rather than just had chaos all around him to score a touchdown whether it's for you which is good i guess you know you want to score a touchdown but what if it was against you would you want to have a situation like that play out would that be arcade football would that be competitive football simulation football i personally don't think so and until madden can start to really quantify what each game mode is and what each game mode is going to project to its user, why I would want to play arcade versus competitive versus simulation. I think we're going to continue to see these horrible plays define Madden as a whole. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking out Back in the Week with more commentary.